Okay, this one's going to be um, an introduction really to um, the tool here, which is um, uh, Shape Builder, and it, it's involved in creating memorial designs. So we've got a whole lot of preloaded designs, but if you need to create your own, um, then you can do, you can get the outline certainly very quickly. Um, getting the final detail can take a little bit longer. Hopefully we'll get a little bit way of the way through most of that um, in this uh, demonstration. So if I click on Shape Builder, um, the first thing it does is it will bring up a little box and then a picture of the memorial that it's going to create behind it. Um, so I'm going to produce what I call um, an Avon in this one, um, which has got an oval top on it. Um, I'm going to lose the base because I'm not fussed about having the base at this point in time. Um, so it's got an oval top and it's got um, slanted sides so I've got here shape length so the the, the, um, the width is 21 inches um, it's 27 inches high um, the drop um, from the top of the uh, center here to this uh, point here is one and a half inches um, and I'm going to um, just bring the sides in um, a little bit um, is actually dropping, drawing the sides out. Um, so I'll drop that down to, uh, it wants to be 26. Um, and that should do us. I'll make that there. So I've created the basic outline um, of my memorial shape here. Uh, it's got an oval top and it's got slanted sides, but I want to put a chamfer onto this memorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take a copy of the, uh, uh, the memorial. So Control C will copy it um, and Control V will paste it. Um, and then I'm going to pick up the corners here and I'm just going to shrink it down. Um, at this point, I'm just going to turn it onto wireframe so you can actually see what I've got here. So I've got two objects, one over the top of each other. So as I shrink this one down, you can now see the two objects separating out. Um, I'm just going to move that up a fraction. And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to move these points around um, so that the, uh, the image looks roughly right. Um, so I'm going to use the uh, shaping tool and that will allow me to pick up individual nodes and drag them around. So I'm going to click shaping tool and you can see I can now click on these uh, nodes and pick that node up oops and I'm going to drag it over and drop it on top of that node um, I've got the snap to objects turned on um, so that helps me make sure that the points line up directly over so if I click this one and drag it onto that and I'm going to click this node here and I'm just going to press the delete key and that will remove that node and then press F4 to see the overall shape so I'm getting there, um, I have a little bit of a shape and it's starting to look a little bit more like it's got some, some, cham some chamfers on. I'm now going to use the freehand tool here and I'm just going to draw a line around here. So I'll pick the freehand tool and draw a line from that node to that node and a line from that node to that node. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick the shape tool up again and I'm going to grab this center node here and I'm just going to move it up. I'll just drop the nudge down. I'm going to do this with the um, uh, with the keyboard. Uh, so I'm just going to change to millimeters and pick up that tool again. Pick up that point. And I'm going to move that point just so that it's just short of the top there. Um, and then in the next bit, I'm now going to fill this and uh, put the chamfers on so that it looks like this memorial has got chamfered edges on it.